y'all welcome back to horse range mountain farm now if this is your first time here don't forget to hit that subscribe button now we're out in the garden today and the guys went and got me a, a load of sawdust and i'm gonna start putting it around my onions and also in between the rows what we're trying to do is make this soil a richer so that stuff grows in it better now we did um, mulch over there last year mulch and some leaves and so the soil over there looks really good and we did add some right here so some of the soil you can see in areas is a little darker than others but especially down this row right here in between that and the peas that we have coming up and in between this row it still needs some help so we want to add this in and that that just helps add nutrients to the soil so as you can see i've got a trailer full of sawdust so i gotta get busy y'all so let's go get busy. So I'd just take the wheelbarrow put it beside the trailer, shovel the sawdust on there, and then I would back the wheelbarrow up to where I needed to put the sawdust around the onions. So I know I hadn't showed this angle of the other mountains in the videos, but this is some more mountains that wrap around our farm. And I know I was busy putting out sawdust around the onions, but I did take a water break and I just looked up and I just had to thank the Lord for his beauty around us. These mountains are just so beautiful and I thank the Lord that I have been able to grow up here in the mountains. I don't think there's anywhere else that I'd rather have grown up. We are so thankful that we've been able to raise our boys here in the mountains as well. So Nathan and the boys went and got the sawdust for me. And what I'm doing is taking and throwing these roots that I'm finding in the sawdust to the side because I don't want to get any of those in my garden. So I put the video in high speed and my mom always tells me when she watches the video and I do that, she goes, you know, if you could work that fast, you'd get a lot of work accomplished. <laughs> so we just laugh about it. Now putting this cardboard down, it draws the earthworms because the earthworms love to get underneath cardboard. Well, wherever earthworms are, the soil's gonna be pretty rich too. So now we're working on this walkway and I'm covering the cardboard up with the sawdust. And last year we used mulch and it worked really well because after it rains, you're not walking in the mud and you're walking in these pathways and you don't have to worry about getting all muddy. I mean, you might get a little dirty, but you're not gonna have red clay up the side of your leg. So now I'm gonna show you our greens that I planted at the end of last summer. We've been eating on those throughout the winter. And then also I shared some with some friends and they're doing okay, but they are starting to send up shoots. So they're starting to try to go to seed. So we gotta get that row ripped up and re -sawn. Now this is Jacob, he's still in the other part of the garden and getting it ready. Anytime these boys get a chance to drive the tractor, they are on it. They love using equipment to do the job. But who doesn't love it if it makes the job easier, right? Now we're on to the next day. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking my knife and cutting all the zip ties that I have zip tied these cattle panels to these T posts. And so I'm cutting those and I'm just letting the cattle panel fall down. Usually I'll wait for Nathan to help me to do this, but he was working on another project today. And so I had to get this done. Now we used to do our green beans a lot different. We would take on our T post and run a line across the top and then a line across the bottom and then we would weave from the top to the bottom back and forth back and forth and then our beans would grow up that 
Well, my Aunt Lil told us about these cattle panels and how much easier it was to grow on them. So we started doing that years ago and we have really enjoyed growing our green beans this way. But now this year, what we're gonna do is we got our cattle panels too close to the bottom last year. So we're gonna raise them up more this year and then we're doing that so then next year we can just till underneath them with our little tiller and we don't have to take them down and move them every year because we've been doing that for the past several years but this year we're gonna just make our cattle panels a little higher and then next year we won't have to take them down we can just clean around them and till under them chapter 36 verses 34 through 35 and the desolate land shall be tilled whereas it lay desolate in the sight of all that passed by and they shall say this land that was desolate is become like the garden of eden and the waste and desolate and ruined cities are become fenced and are inhabited 